Hey, good morning, good morning, everyone. I have a word to share with you to encourage your heart out of God's word, of course. And it comes out of 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. Very powerful scriptures here. Um, and it reads, But you are not like that, for you are a chosen people. You are royal priests, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you out of the darkness and into the wonderful light. Once you had no identity as a people, now you are God's people. Once you received no mercy, now you have received God's mercy. Wow. Now, 1 Peter, it's such a wonderful book, so fresh and alive, and I always find something new in it. And today's passage, I love how... It calls believers a chosen people, a royal priest, priests, and God's very own possession. And our purpose is to proclaim the excellence of God who has called us out of the dark and into his wonderful light. But so often, many believers evaluate themselves on the basis of their feelings rather than what God says. You know, the problem with that is our feelings are always changing from one moment to the next. We never know what circumstances will arise to test our faith. And maybe today is one of those days. We have to remember that Satan will do whatever he can to divert your attention from the Lord. When we direct our focus toward our circumstances instead of the Word of God, we accept the situation, what the situation seems to indicate instead of what God tells us. When circumstances seem unbearable, remember, like Peter, as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus, he was able to walk on water, as we will be able to. Are there areas in your life where the devil is shouting defeat in your ear? Take these concerns to God and let him remind you who you are in him. Trust him to transform your mind from how you see yourself into how he sees you. Wake up each morning with the knowledge that you are valuable to your heavenly father. Trust in his word, not in your feelings, and allow your, the Holy Spirit to change your self-perfection of yourself. Well, guys, just a quick word that I felt strong in my spirit. Some of you need to hear. If this does speak to your heart, please share this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Know that I love you guys, and I'm praying for you.